in India, with being such a massive country, a huge percentage of, of that population is living at or near the poverty line. They don't have access to clean water, secure food supplies, and, and health care. There's a lot of cultural issues to come over, especially with things um, that are um, often sexually transmitted. That's just a whole taboo to even talk about. And, but at the same time, India is this amazing, rich, vibrant, technologically advanced, brilliant country. So you have this weird contradiction. So I think the support that IAPA brings, it's marrying these, it understands that India is a fast-moving, modern, you know, modernizing country, and at the same time, rural. And, you know, manual labor is, is part of life. So they bring these things together and, you know, show, show a country how to solve some of its own problems. One of the things that I've always really been struck about Russ is that he's enormously creative, um, some, in, to some extent in a cracked way often, but very creative across a wide spectrum of media and um, applications. And yet he's one of the most self-effacing people I've ever met. Unique ability to take this idea around the community mobilizing around HIV and AIDS and spreading it out through his writing, through his graphic design, through all of his marketing expertise. When I think of Russ, I think of conscience. Um, Russ captures the imagination of others. Russ has been involved in every facet of HIV and AIDS in our community, and our community embracing it. His ability to take graphic design, his ability to create the kind of media and material necessary to capture the community's imagination around solving wicked problems is unparalleled. That's Russ Hahn. And there's a lot of things that get exported from this country, like McDonald's and Starbucks and movies, and I think maybe something that's worth exporting is the way this country helps other people.